I am Shri Gandhi and today we are going to talk about cleaner development mechanisms. We have known several global environmental issues like ozone layer depletion, greenhouse effect, climate change and acid rain. So we have discussed all these issues but to reduce these issues, cleaner development mechanism was developed by different countries in the world. So countries united together to reduce the pollution in the environment and to conserve the resources in the environment. So let us learn what is clean development mechanism, which is a very, very important topic nowadays. So firstly, for clean development mechanism, Kyoto Protocol is very much important. Kyoto Protocol was designed in the city Kyoto, which is in Japan in 1990 to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases and to observe the changes which are right now happening in our surrounding which are resulting into climate change and there are several effects of climate change in our surrounding. So a protocol to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCC or FCC aimed at fighting global warming sets binding targets for 37 industrialized countries and the European community to reduce their greenhouse gas emission. So European countries are mostly industrialized countries. So that's why they are emitting more and more amount of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, methane and CFC, which are very, very dangerous greenhouse gases because they absorb the heat in the surrounding and increase the temperature of the earth resulting into increase in level of sea and floods and other several harmful conditions binding countries to meet their targets primarily through national markets additional means of meeting targets through three market based mechanisms so clean development mechanism and kyoto protocol was dependent on emission trading so you should know how much amount of carbon is released by producing different products. Joint implementation. So how countries can join themselves and reduce the emission of carbon. And clean development mechanism. First two mechanism relevant to NX1 or NX2 countries and third is relevant to developing countries. So what do you mean by NX1 or NX2 countries? So NX1 or NX2 countries are industrialized countries. And developing countries are still not industrialized, so they are releasing less amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere compared to developed countries because they have all the industries which are releasing large amount of carbon dioxide while producing different products. So you know what is Kyoto Protocol? It was designed to reduce global warming and to reduce the effect of climate change in our surrounding. So parties to UNFCC are classified as NX1 countries. So NX1 countries are what? Industrialized countries and economies in transition. And NX2 countries are developed countries which pay for the cost of developing countries, developing countries like India. So NX1 countries are industrialized countries and economies in transition. So they are responsible for their own carbon footprint. And NX2 countries are also developed countries and they are developing their industries also, but all, they are also paying to developing countries to develop industries to clear their carbon footprint. Now, what does that mean? I'll explain you that in detail. Now, in simple term, clean development mechanism is a greenhouse gas exchange program. So the theory is that atmosphere is equally polluted by GHG wherever they come from and equally benefits from GHG cuts wherever they come from. So in effect, if a company cannot control its pollution, it can buy some amount of clean credit from someone who has worked hard to cut down pollution, polluter payers. So the companies who cannot reduce their carbon footprint, what happens here? They pay to other companies who are developing products which are releasing less amount of carbon footprint and balance their amount of pollution in the environment by paying. Hence, you have companies bound to Kyoto Protocol buying carbon credits from organization which invents in developing clean develop mechanism projects. So, these companies will develop products which are clean, which releases less amount of pollution in the environment 
so the companies who are releasing pollution are paying to the companies to develop products which releases less amount of pollution that is clean develop mechanism so countries are exchanging money and reducing the level of greenhouse gases in the surround so here you can see companies in nx1 countries so there are industries which are releasing large amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere then you can say they are paying cash to the organization in developing countries for cdm projects so solar energy wind energy for this products this developed countries are paying money and they are getting carbon credits so by that they are maintaining the amount of pollution in the atmosphere now what do you mean by certified emission reduction so primary unit of measurement of the carbon reduced by the project given by cdm executive board certification that a project has managed to reduce 1 ton of co2 per year approximately price of a single cer ranges from 10 dollar to 35 dollar depending on trading and exchange and market conditions so for how much amount of carbon one ton of carbon you have to pay 10 to 35 dollars to the company who are developing products which releases less amount of pollution and which are clean for the environment so that is how you get a carbon offset credit and that is how you balance the amount of carbon footprint of yours in the environment so if you have 35 tons of carbon released by you in environment and you are paying for 25 ton of carbon then your carbon footprint is only 10 tons are you getting it now a cdm projects can be in many areas so developed countries can invest in several things renewable energy clean energy energy efficiency in construction transport waste management tra solvent use of forestation green cover agriculture hfc pfc and others so in all these fields developed countries can invest to, to reduce the carbon footprint of them so now how clean development the mechanism is benefiting the nx1 countries so industrialized countries they are releasing large amount of carbon in the atmosphere so how it is benefiting them by paying cash to developing countries how it is benefiting them so reduction in overall emission mitigation cost flexibility in meeting emission reduction commitments investment opportunities so they are investing their money they get flexibility in their own carbon footprint so these are some advantage to the nx1 countries now what is the advantage to developing countries which is nx2 countries additional financing for sustainable development projects in the country so you get additional finance technology transfer and development so developed countries will help developing countries mitigates local environmental pollution job and infrastructure is is raised in developing countries so these are benefits of cdm in developing countries thank you i hope you have learned what is clean development mechanism and see you in the next lecture of environmental science thank you